Welcome to your new Celestial. Inside the box, you'll find the quick start card, battery charger manual, flash unit, battery, and two separate pieces of the charger. The stand mount is how you attach the unit to a stand and the adjustment handle is how you tilt the unit up and down. The adjustment handle incorporates a ratcheting mechanism. When the handle is snapped in place, it is engaged in order to tighten or loosen the stand mount as the handle is moved back and forth. By pulling out on the handle, it will disengage and freely spin in order to allow for repositioning of the handle without affecting the tightness of the stand mount. This free spin allows the handle to be repositioned for better leverage clearing the housing, storage, etc. To connect the battery, pull the latch, line up the prongs, and slide it down. To charge the battery, connect the two pieces of the charger like so, and plug the cord into the battery. This battery can be charged on or off the flash, even while shooting. For full details on the battery charger LED indications, please refer to the battery manual included. Lift or press the side release levers to take off the shipping cover. This is also how you attach modifiers using the bow car mount. If we remove our silicone diffusion dome, you will see four magnetic contacts on the faceplate of the Celestial. These not only allow you to attach the included diffusion dome, but any of our color gel domes as well. If you need to replace the flash tube, the Celestial is only compatible with the Celestial flash tube available on our website. Above the flash tube is where you can insert any standard 8mm umbrella modifier rod. To power on the light, make sure the battery is charged or plugged in, and hold down the flash test button for 3 seconds. The flash test button will act as a test trigger for the flash with a short press and release, and as the on-off button when pressed for 3 seconds. While the word flash is blinking on the menu, spin the wheel either way to change your flash power settings. 0.0F is full power, and negative numbers are stops below full power. Minimum power is negative 11. Use the center button to cycle between adjusting the flash or modeling lamp. Again, 0.0F is full power, and negative numbers are stops below full. Note that if your modeling lamp is set to track, the flash and model power will change together. Minimum power for the modeling lamp is negative 6F. Press the three line menu button to enter the settings adjustment mode. Only the selected function will appear on the screen and the function name will blink. Spin the wheel to scroll through the various functions. Once the desired function is highlighted, press the center button to enter the selection mode of that function. The currently selected option will blink. Scroll the wheel to select the setting with this function. To finish your selection, press the center button. You'll be back in the settings adjustment mode, able to cycle through the options again. Press the menu button to return to the main screen. Let's look at the settings within each function. The options for flash are action, color, HSS for high speed sync, and off. Additionally, TTL is also available automatically when using the hub. If you have the hub, we encourage you to watch the demo video if you haven't already. Action mode is used to shorten the duration of the flash to freeze motion. Color mode will give you the most consistent color output throughout the power range. HSS, or high speed sync, is enabled when you use a hub and exceed your sync speed it'll become automatically selected on the unit. TTL is enabled when you use a hub and turn on TTL in the settings of the hub. TTL allows your flash system and camera to communicate even further, enabling your flash unit to make adjustments automatically. If you're not using a hub, be sure to select action or color mode to ensure your flash works properly. The options for modeling lamp are full, track, adjust, and off. Selecting track will set your modeling light to the same relative power level as the flash, automatically increasing and decreasing as the flash power is raised and lowered. Adjust will allow it to be set independently of the flash power.
The next setting is for indicating that the flash is ready. The options are model lamp, audible, both, or off. The model lamp will dim when the flash is fired, then return to the set brightness when the flash is recycled. The audible indicator will chirp to indicate the flash is recharged and ready to fire again. Next, we have the sync setting. The options are slave eye, remote, both, or none. The slave eye will see another flash unit's flash and in turn fire itself. If you are using the CyberSync remote system, including the Hub, CST, CyberSense, Cyber Commander, or if you're using a Pocket Wizard MC2 installed on the top of the flash, use the remote option. In some cases, with multiple photographers or multiple remote types using the same lights, it may be beneficial to have the light trigger by slave and or remote. In this case, both can be active simultaneously. The sync jack is always active. Typically when using the sync jack, you would select none to limit triggering by unwanted sources. The next settings are frequency and channel. This is how the lights will talk to various remotes and the app. When using CyberSync remotes, be sure all devices, transmitter and flash, are on the same frequency. When using the hub, CyberSense, or Cyber Commander, be sure each light is on the same frequency and on separate channels. With that, you're ready to start shooting. If you have any questions, please reach out to our customer service team at 1-800-443-5542, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Central Time. Or you can email us at info at paulcbuff.com. Thank you for watching.